Hi everyone, it's Muriel. I am here with a design team project for Craft Supplies Craft Supplies One. Excuse me. And I wanted to show you what I did. I pulled out some of my last few papers and tags from the Graphic 45 Travel Tropical Travel Log collection. This was a collection that came out last year. I was very fond of the collection. I think I bought the individual sheets. I don't recall buying the entire packet. And I made um, a, two cards, one um, layout, and now I want to show you these altered um, scented burlap bags that I made. So what I had remaining was the Tropical Travelogue Tags 1, and I had a few sheets of the paper, which is absolutely beautiful, and it just so happens to coincide with some of the colors of the um, trims and um, lace that I received in my design package. So, um, and this is Tags too. And it has the um, tickets and key and the keyhole and just a beautiful collection and then this um, animal print paper which they call Jungle Fever. So I purchased these um, burlap bags. They're five by seven and I believe I bought these online ladies. I, I don't remember um, because I've probably altered two and then here's the three more that I did but I'm sure you can find them on um, the website but they're really nice bags and they make excellent um, bags to put goodies in what I chose to do was to make these scented bags so let me show you uh, the first one here now this um, beautiful flower that I made is from the pleated trim from Craft Supplies 1 and it's a beautiful blue and when I got it I, I knew instantly I this pa this color reminds me of a collection that I have and it was certainly the tropical travelogue. So there is a button from the tags with a um, piece of twine uh, threaded through it. I use some of these ticket tags up top here that say Tropical Paradise and Escape. I just kind of kept them all together and um, mounted them on the uh, burlap here. And then here's two more chipboard pieces from the collection, the key and the keyhole with a brad that I just uh, put in the second hole there. And I have them uh, mounted down with some hot glue. Now this beautiful blue braided trim is from Craft Supplies 1. And this is just some pleated uh, trim for my stash, but behind that you will see the printed paper, that animal printed paper, and I used a wave punch to uh, cut on each side of the paper. And then on the back it just kind of goes all the way around, and then it has another ticket on the back and it says escape. Now on the inside, when you pull it out, is a scented bag a scented sash, shall I call it, and the scent is cotton. And what you can do is just keep this in the bag and maybe use this door handle here to hang it on your doorknob or somewhere in your craft room to offer a beautiful smell. As soon as my daughter walked in, she said, what is that? So she smelled it. And I had purchased these at Tuesday morning a couple of weeks ago. They were having 50% off the red tag, so they were originally $5.99, so I got them for like $3. And these are by Raymond Waits, and they're the cotton scent. Just something really light. So um, that's the first one. Just absolutely cute. I love it. And then my second one here, I use uh, more of the pleated trim from Craft Supplies 1. This is the peach pleated trim. Again, it goes all the way around. I use another um, tag from the collection on the back and the front. And this beautiful um, Muslim flower is from my stash. Let me um, see if I can find it really, 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 really quick. I hope I can. And I, I don't want to keep you holding. I, I can't. I know it's from. Um, I can't. I can't even say if it's from. 
I can't even say. I, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should have kept all this stuff out, but I made these this weekend. But it's a really nice um, cotton uh, um, burlap. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, um, muslin flower and you can see the edges are frayed so it really goes well with the burlap and it just has this beautiful pearl center and then these uh, flowers here are from the ones I recently purchased at Tuesday morning uh, the color me crazy ones and I just pulled off a piece of the flower and the leaf and this little spiral thing and then here's a beautiful green crocheted doily with a bottle cap on top with a picture of a bird. And this is from uh, Recollection. So that's it. And again, the, the uh, sash is inside, and it just smells so yummy. And then the third one, I had this beautiful tropical flower... Um, trim. It goes on the back. It has pearls and then there's another flower and then it had this long cascading um, beige uh, ribbon to it. And that's by Prima. I pulled that out of my stash. I've had that forever as well. Probably picked it up at Hobby Lobby. So this one I used some of that beautiful orange braided trim that uh, was in my design package this month. Again, some um, pleated uh, trim from my stash and then on the back I just attached two of the tickets uh, the tags from the collection with the postage stamp design on the back I just love this um, how this satin this ribbon went around and then it had five pearls on each side and then I just mounted another one of the flowers they um, they were actually mounted on this side here on each side but I didn't want it to um, go out that far. So I thought I would use them for the back. So I have this extra one here. And again, inside fits perfectly the scented um, sash. So those are my three um, altered burlap, scented burlap bags that I made using the trims, pleated trim, and the um, ple the braided the, ple the braided trim from Class Craft Supplies 1 and a few of the um, items from the Graphic 45 Travel Log uh, paper collection. So thank you ladies and don't forget to go over to the site and visit this braided trim is in some beautiful colors as well as the pleated trim in lots of um, lots of pretty colors. So thank you for um, watching my channel and we will talk soon. Have a good evening. Bye now.